Yeah guys and welcome back to my channel. Yeah on the last video you have saw uh, how I have just applied the liquid metal thermal paste. Now I'm gonna just open it again. <laughs> yeah I know that's crazy. But I just did that like I told for my tests, for my temperature tests and all the stuff. This was normally just for me. And I was able also to do you a great video on how you can apply thermal paste from liquid metal. NC in the place to be and see so now i'm gonna just open it all i'm gonna just take a look how it looks like inside let's see the the cpu let's see the cooper heatsink and all the stuff and you know guys uh, i just want to do that before all the stuff gets hard and you should know that guys because liquid metal with the time will get hard and it will be a lot or we can say or let's say it will be a little bit difficult to clean this all away from the Cooper heatsink from your cooler and like I told you should just do that always only on Cooper coolers or Cooper heatsinks do not apply this liquid metal on aluminium so I'm gonna go here I'm gonna open that all I'm gonna not show and uh, yeah just record it how I'm gonna open it I will just open it all and then we're gonna take a look to get inside let's go so guys here we go again so the most is open right now just need to take the screws out and then let's see how it looks inside <laughs> yeah I know that's really crazy just have done this two or three days ago <laughs> and now I'm opening it again so some lights here for you guys yeah what will be the next thermal paste <laughs> I don't know maybe the one from Cooler Master <laughs> I don't know guys, I just do that for you guys, just for fun, just for my tests, I was able to test a lot of stuff for myself, and yeah, it was the most important just for me. So, let's begin with this one. Yeah, the only thing because I do that is just because I really know that the demo paste will get hard all the time. But now let's see um, how easy it will be after two or three days to clean it away. I'm just curious myself. Should be great to clean it away. Let's see how it looks as inside. And um, let's see how the cooling, the heatsink is just looking for. Or yeah. Just all for my tests guys. I know maybe one has tested this already somewhere on the internet. But I just love to do my own tests. So I'm gonna get me my chair right now. Give me a second guys. So let's see that and let's check this out. <coughs> Yes, I'm open. Yes. Mm -hmm. It was a little bit, um, yeah, glue it, or I don't know how to call it. It was, yeah. It feels great. It was not that, yeah, um, how it calls. Let me just check it out. Ah, you can see it has already begun to get hard. <laughs> I can see that. So now slowly with the motherboard, let's just turn it to this side. Wow guys, that's the best proof that it was just perfectly off. So wait, I need to take care of the cable here. Now let's just take and diagnostic the CPU or the APU. Look how great it looks. It was not too much. It was just perfect like I told you guys. And uh, wait. Here you can see 
Um, so here you can see the small dots. You see that? So you can see it was really just perfect. Here we still have some liquid metal thermal paste. But on the side, let me show you here on the side, it has begun to get hard on the cooler, not on the APU. Here the most is all still okay, you can see that, yeah? It's all still okay. See that? But on the Cooper cooler, on the heatsink, it has begun to get hard. I'm gonna show you that right now. But here you can see, wow, it was not too much, it was just perfect, and it was also not too low or too less. This was just perfect. You can see that I can still spread it everywhere. We could still close it again. <laughs> nice. So let's just put this away. <coughs> and now uh, let's take a look on the yeah Cooper heatsink. Okay, so wait, give me a second. Bling. Here we go. Okay, and there and here you can see it has begun already to get harder. Let me not check how hard. Uh, it's okay. It was not that hard, but I can feel it. It 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 um it feels like I don't know how to call it. It feels like some kind of sandpaper. Yeah, if you just go here with your e cleaner. But um, it's not it's it's not really hard. It's it's okay after three four days. But I still can I feel the surface is just not uh, so yeah how it calls not so um, glad glad uh, glad of of English. Wie sagt man glad of English? Mein Gott. <laughs> so it's it's uh, yeah I'm gonna. Just uh, post you that on the YouTube description. On, uh, I'm gonna do a small call out that you can guy, uh, that you guys can understand what I mean. So the f the surface here um, is just not like it was before. I can feel it with my ear cleaner when I just go over here. It's just smooth, you know. But when I just go over here, I can feel it already. It has begun to work. It's not hard. Okay, I can tell you it's not hard about uh, after three days or yeah, two or three days. But I can already feel it has begun to work, and that's why, um, yeah, I still cannot recommend, um, of course, thermal uh, liquid metal for the consoles. Or, yeah, maybe you should do that only for the computers. This was just a test for myself, and the temperatures was not bad. The temperatures was okay, really great, and you can really be happy with these temperatures. But you're gonna have nearly the same temperatures also with uh, a great thermal paste like the one from uh, MX4, Cooler Master, um, Noctua or um, Prolima Tech and of course uh, the thermal paste from Arctic Silver 5 or the thermal paste from Cryonaut all just okay for the PlayStation and if you have some problems some overheating problems after you have just applied new thermal paste you should check if your APU or your CPU if it has really contact on the yeah on the wall cooler on the wall place because if your APU or CPU has just contact in the middle you know um, of course it's gonna be a little bit hotter because all the rest is just not cooled okay so if your CPU has just here in the middle contact, this is just not enough guys, okay? And that's why you should check it out. Maybe you need to lap it here a little bit because let's say your Yeah, let's let's do it just new. So wait. This is good now to show you this all. So uh, let's say your APU had just here the most pressure on this side. Of course that the left side here will not have contact and that's why sometimes you need just to take a look is maybe your heatsink a little bit yeah shitty or sitting wrong or maybe um, your um, yeah how it calls your um, cooper cooler is maybe here too high and maybe you're gonna need to lap it yeah just like I did before on my other CPUs 
from the computers. So wait, I got you some stuff. So here, just as you can see, a not lapid CPU heat breather, and this one is a lapid CPU heat breather. And I have proved you on the last videos that if you just lap it really perfectly, you're gonna have better temperatures. Yeah, sometimes just about four degrees, but sometimes just about uh, ten degrees. Yeah. So, but here you can see it right now. And uh, this was just a quick video that you guys can see how it looks after two or three days. It's okay. Now let's keep, um, yeah, trying to clean it also with toilet paper. And I'm going to show you also later again. Or oh, let's do that. Let's do that now. I'm going to show you again the um, the APU from the PlayStation 4. You can see here we have nowhere, really nowhere. We got here no rare liquid metal. So it means this was really just perfect. Otherwise, if you just have applied it too much, um, it could be that the liquid metal will will lie around here, some small dots. And if you just don't take care, it can be that the dots go fall down to the to the motherboard, and then um, yeah, when when a small dot or dot um, yeah liquid metal thermal paste gonna lie around here, it's gonna short your PlayStation. That's why you need to take care that you just have not applied too much, and you don't need to apply too much because this thermal paste, this is so thin, just like water, because it's liquid, and you don't need them so much. Okay, you need to understand that. And you can really see this is just perfect. And now let's try uh, to clean the Cooper first with uh, toilet paper. <coughs> so, I'm going to show you also how to clean this really nice. You should always get, uh, you, you begin on one side and then you try to clean it all with one time, okay? So this is the best you can do. Do not go over here and try to, okay? Just, yeah. Just watch, wait. See it? Just with one time, try to get the most out. So, and I can see here already, it has begun to get hard, like I told you. Because I feel it already. And when the thermal, uh, when this liquid metal thermal paste begins to get hard, or let's say, when it begins to get hot, it begins to work. Like I told you on the last video before, uh, if you if you do uh, a burn in test or a burn in, so that means if you just um, yeah get in the game and you just load it, and the game begins uh, to run hot or the APU begins to work hard, then you can see now. But this is not just hard, you see that? It's hard, and the surface here is um, just like a little bit like sandpaper. Here I can feel, wow, it's really nice and smooth, but here it's, yeah, getting hard, okay? So, you can see this also on the camera. It has already begun to get hard. Now let's just check it out with my fingernail. See that? This is the only reason why I cannot recommend to use this thermal paste. So now you're going to need to have a very, very great sandpaper on about 2000. 2000 sandpaper. Or, I don't know how it calls in English, but maybe I'm going to post to that in my YouTube description. This is not sandpaper, but some kind of, some kind of like sandpaper. You're going to need now. Uh, try to lap this away here. Easy, okay? Easy, just lap it a little bit till you can see the Cooper. So it begins already to get clean, you see that? And that's why I cannot recommend it, because some guys maybe gonna go over here and they're gonna press too much and they're gonna just lap too much and then your Cooper hit sink is just destroyed because you have just take too much away and then your CPU will just not sit over there. The other great thing that I just want to tell you, you can do this. Yeah, Let's say your Cooper 
is just a little bit damaged. You can apply liquid metal thermal paste and then you can let it about one week and you just do some burn-in tests and the thermal paste will get hard and it will repair <laughs> your uh, Cooper surface. Okay? I don't know if you have understand what I mean but I'm just talking about let's say you got here a small place which uh, the Cooper goes a little bit more down of course you're gonna ha have not that great um, pressure and cooling and that's why if you just see uh, that maybe your Cooper is a little bit bad you can repair it also with this kind of liquid metal thermal paste otherwise you can just go for some Cooper shims or however it calls in English or Cooper plates small ones and then you can try it also so I can see already uh, nearly the, the Cooper, um, the color from the Cooper is getting uh, out now, but I have shown you this also on, on another video. You should lap it till you can see again the color from the Cooper. But this and more I'm going to do the next, or I'm going to do it for me alone because this is going to take a little bit time and this video will get again a little bit, yeah, how it calls, longer. And I just wanted to show you now, look, it's nice again, see that? And this is just enough, <laughs> okay, just enough. You can now go on and apply, or apply again your thermal paste. Let's go now for the uh, APU or CPU and you just don't need to use that on the CPU because after this short time the thermal paste will not be that hard on the CPU. So here we are now, and do the same, take care when you are cleaning it that you just don't touch with the toilet paper, uh, toilet paper when it gets full of thermal paste, just take care that you don't go around here and you touch the SMD components here, you're gonna have maybe a short and after that you're gonna, you maybe don't know or you have not saw it, you're gonna turn on the PlayStation and then it will just get a short, okay, and that's why I just take care while you are doing that. Easy. Slowly. Fold it. And do your work. You can see, you still have here any paste or liquid metal thermal paste. Fold it again, always. Okay. I already have also seen that it has begun to burn in, or how it calls. It has begun to get hard. And that's why I just wanted to open it. And like I told guys, I have not recommend you that on the other video where I have or which I have done. And uh, also for the German peoples, nicht wirklich empfehlenswert, weil ihr danach nach kurzer Zeit schon über die flüssig Metallwärmeleit passe sehr hart. So and yeah, just say that for my other subscribers also, for my German followers, I can say it also on Portuguese, I got also a lot of Portuguese followers and uh, from all the world that's why this channel is great because I do this all in English so I got a lot of followers but I speak myself four languages so look it's already hard you can see here on the side you still can see the chip see really nice like a mirror but then you can see here the liquid metal thermal pest is getting hard with my finger now I'm able just to clean it a little bit and that's the reason why I just don't like to do that see toilet paper it's not enough <clears throat> Let's 
go again with my finger. I'm trying just, let's say, to scratch it over there with my finger. See that? And then it's all over here. I can tell you one thing guys, this after one and a half year it will be a pain in the ass to clean this all the way. <laughs> I'm not kidding, I have already a video on YouTube how my notebook, my laptop was looking like after one and a half year. I was shocked at myself. So again guys, this is not recommended. If you just, don't, if you just want to do some tests for you guys, then yes it's okay. But then you should, uh, let me move the camera a little bit more up, but then you should take it away again. You should clean it away again. Don't let it over one or two weeks because this could be too late. Of course it conforms how much you play and um, how hot the PlayStation will run. But this is the best proof that you can see, this is not recommended guys. I need to put my smartphone a little bit more up. So. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go <laughs> because I have tested nearly all thermal paste on my PlayStation 4 but um, I got you still one at home that I have not tested it. Let's try again also with IPA to clean this all the way. Should be the same. And you don't need here to go with the sandpaper, okay? As long as you can clean it with your fingers and with your fingernail, your fingernail will not destroy the APU or the CPU, but sandpaper gonna scratch it a little bit okay just a little bit but it's gonna scratch so give me a second guys so be enough <coughs> Yeah, it's okay. The rest I'm gonna clean it myself. And then you can wait for the next video, which will, I think, be about um, the thermal paste from uh, Cooler Master. I have done that. Um, I have done that also on my CPUs, on the last videos. And Cooler Master was pretty good. Cooler Master, the newest one, Master Gale Maker, was really pretty good. Okay guys, uh, this was all now for the video. I think this is just enough for now. And uh, later, I'm gonna keep doing my work of course. But for now, I think this is just okay. This was not just to show you and to prove you that you guys gonna think two or three times about if you guys really want to do that or not. <laughs> and that's why I have to show you that. Okay, so this is just a video guys. To warn you. Yeah, let's let's say like that. This is just a video to warn you. Uh, so that you maybe will not come in one year and tell me, hey NSC, this was the biggest shit ever. Why did you not told us? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. And that's why I'm doing this video. So, wait, I'm not in. Here, yes, that's better. And um, that's why I just wanted to show you that. Okay, so you can do that for some tests. You can do that for, for some benchmarks. Maybe for some, yeah, how it calls. Um, 
temperature records and but the rest yeah guys not recommended I hope you understand what I have mean and tried to tell you you can see now it looks really nice again you can see uh, again the four marks that I have just done but this will not disturb and uh, so here take a look again closer look on the Cooper cooler so here maybe a little bit more uh, but I cannot feel it with my fingernails so that means it's okay it's okay guys so like I told I hope you like it I wish you the best on my channel stay tuned for more crazy stuff <laughs> and thumbs up if you like subscribe if you have not and uh, feel free to leave a comment yeah see you guys that was me and a C in the place to be bye bye peace and C in the place to be and C